Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. They've ranged from building multi-person pogo sticks to hacking chocolate. Any topic that geeks hold dear. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides that auto advance every 15 seconds. The talk you're about to hear was recorded live at one of the featured Ignite events around the world. I'm going to talk about something that's concerned me for quite a while, which is my personal fear of teleportation. Uh, and I, I hope you have thought about teleportation enough to know whether you're afraid of it or not. Are these advancing? This is like 15. Yeah, but you should be. You should be very afraid of teleportation. Uh, and when I'm talking about teleportation, I want to be very clear. I'm not talking about uh, wormhole stuff, and you'll see that in one next slide. I'm talking about the kind of teleportation that dissolves you and makes you on the other end, right? So this person is all dissolved, and then you're all built back, all fine on this side, right? This is, this is safe, do that. You see a wormhole, jump through, it's cool. That is a little spooky. So, uh, you know, because the real question about why it's spooky is like, well, who is that dude? I mean, he is just like me on the other end of that teleporter, but it's not me, I'm me, all right? I don't care if you want to phrase it or make it seem, I have been evaporated on the other side. This guy thinks he's me, but he's not. So uh, I've thought about this a long time, actually, and there's really there's two ways that this cannot fundamentally scare you. And, uh, and yeah, really, I put people into these two groups, and I think about how could this be the case. So the one is that you're just a soulless, emotionless automaton, right? There's nothing inside. You're not scared because you're like, whatever. I have no sense of personal identity here. I don't exist right here. I do. So if you don't find this scary, one possibility is maybe you aren't fundamentally like me in that fear. So, you know, that's a little arrogant. And, uh, and I've thought about Wittgenstein a lot, actually. So Wittgenstein's influenced my thinking on this. And he has this idea of, uh, of private language, right? So if you made up your own language uh, in your own head, you're the only person that exists. Uh, there's going to be a problem with that language, and he says that that's inherently an inconsistent idea. So, the fact that private language can't exist means that there must be other people out there, right? Because otherwise we wouldn't have language to talk in. So, I have a little bit of faith that you're not all mindless automatons, okay? So, uh, that's good. So, you're probably real. <laughs> so, then I'm going, oh, my favorite books, and I can't even pronounce this, but it's the, the no, I'm going to try. Um, but it's this great classic in, in Buddhism, right? And this guy is brilliant. Uh, he, you know, if you're familiar with the idea of emptiness in Buddhism, right? He talks about the idea of emptiness, about how the idea of emptiness is itself fundamentally empty. Um, and I thought, like, okay, so you know, if that's true, then like self is empty, right? That's like a big Buddhist reference, like you win Buddhism when you get that. And so if self is empty, then it's not really all that scary to step into a teleporter. You can feel like, oh, this is great, it doesn't really matter. So two things have happened to me recently uh, that have, have really changed my opinion on teleportation and, and my nervousness about it. So, the first thing is, I <laughs> used to be a librarian, and now I'm a full-time developer. I had a whole career change. This happened in a period of a month and a half. A month and a half ago, I said, I want a new career. Uh, I mean, there's some background before this, but whatever. Um, I was like, I'm going to become a, a programmer full-time, and no longer be a librarian, get rid of all my librarian friends, and I did it. And it, it's like a total change. So that's like, I felt like, wow. Like, and like, when I first started working, I looked back, and there's this old me. And I'm like, who's that guy? Like, I'm doing something so different now. Um, and that was like a huge shift. And when I was going through this process, it was a lot of work, because like, you know, things are going on. And this quote really drove me. So this is T.S. Eliot. I love T.S. Eliot. It says, in order to arrive at what you are not, you must go through the way in which you are not, right? So that's sort of, you're sort of losing yourself, right? So you see, let's see where this goes. So then something even bigger happened to me. Uh, in October, I had my first son. And this is totally mind-blowing. If you don't have kids, it's like, this is incredible. And if you do, you know what I'm talking about. This is such a bizarre thing. And you can't even imagine what life was like beforehand. I started thinking about him, and I realized he's not the same person he was even six months ago, right? So who is he? You know, he, this is him, like, two weeks old. He's this little tiny, see my hands are like right here. He's this, like, little thing, and now he's this little person. He's got a personality. He, he does all these things. And I realized that I, I have been teleporting, all right? I am not the person that I was six months ago. I'm not the person that I was a month and a half ago. I'm so, i fundamentally changed who I am. So, I have been teleporting, right? That's how change has been happening. And so, maybe this is the real key point today. Like, disintegration, that's part of what life is about. That's how we get to where we need to be. We are always teleporting. 
much and faster talking than my slides. So I have two morals for this thing. <laughs> the first moral is do not be afraid of teleportation. When the time comes, step on in and go. You'll get to where you need to be faster. It's super convenient. <laughs> it's not, not worth stressing over. I've done that for you. That is done. The biggest moral, though, is you don't have to be afraid of anything. If you think about it, you're teleporting. Like, the old you is dead every second, okay? The you that came in here is not the you that's going to leave here. So if you say, I just forget something, I'm going to fail. You died like 50 times in the last couple seconds, so don't worry about it. So have fun. Oh, okay.